Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm really pleased to have you here. Um, I'm making something, you've seen me do it before, um, but one of my friends said she'd missed that video and I did this before with um, boho style um, and I'm working on a lovely shabby journal at the moment so I thought oh, I might as well turn on the camera, do a craft with me, have a little chat and yeah you can just watch me do it again or if you don't want to you can just skip right on so as you probably guessed I'm doing a double envelope I've cut the ends off of this regular letter sized envelope and I've distressed it but then I've cut some card to fit both the top and the bottom I normally do, would do just the top but I still undecided on the bottom yet so I'm going to stick the top bit on while I'm deciding because I've got a few options next to me and I don't know what one to use so how are you all like I said welcome old and new I know I've got some new subscribers so hello loves I'm really pleased you could join us here in the little Cockney Craft family it um it's really lovely to see just new people coming all the time it really is very humbling for me so I hope you're all well and doing all okay I may be filming a bit less but only for um, the next few weeks and I'm not sure how long because I think I might be moving I um, put in a request to move um, the short story is um, we've got a problem with, well I haven't got a problem with anybody, um, my daughter's ex-boyfriend has a problem that he doesn't know where she lives, um, and there's a reason for that, he's violent, and, um, he knows where I live, so every now and again when he loses his temper over, I don't know, whatever's going on in his life, he decides to come and torment us and I didn't mention it to anybody, I told um, my lovely friend Kathleen um, but other than that, and my, my lovely old friend Sandra, other than that I've not told Sol but it's real now because I've got to move because of it because yeah it's getting worse and worse and worse it's, and the most recent thing is just about a week or two weeks ago he put um brick through my kitchen window and yeah it's it's getting beyond a joke and now it's got to the point where my daughters are scared to come here and you all know how much I love having them babies here and that and my babies my girls you know um you all know those of you well, those of you that have subscribed with me for a while you know I'm all about family and yeah at the moment my daughters can't come here anymore so I put in a request to move because I said I can't live like that I can't live in a house where I can't do all of the things that I want to do one being just the most basic of human rights having your children be able to be around you you know so we went and had a meeting and they didn't say very much they just said well it'll all have to evidence will have to be gathered blah 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 we'll let you know i wasn't sure what to make of it all um but i got confirmation this morning that they've gathered all the info the police have been good and informed them how dangerous he actually is not just with the crimes he's committed against me and my family but two others as well so that we don't know all of those crimes we know some but the council now know them all 
so it's all been signed off by the antisocial behaviour um, people, the ASBO people and now it's just got to go to a head housing officer so it's literally just waiting on that and they said as long as the head housing officer does okay it um, we'll be given the next three bed house, house available you know so I will be moving and the upshot of that is of, of course I will have to remove like my address from on my channel and any rack, um, rack lists that I'm on so I've got to rack my brain now and remember what rack lists I am on so that I can remove myself <laughs> because of course that would be a easy way for him to find us which um, we can't have so anyway I'm just looking at this I can't remember what's the right side and what's the wrong side I think this is the upside Oh, it's really hard to tell anyway this I was, this bit is going to be our flap fabric and um, yeah like that and then I'm going to have this and some bits and bobs down here yeah so I wasn't sure whether to do that and grab a bit of this gold and put it just over like that or I could even put it over the pink or part of the pink couldn't I so I think I've got to do that so anyway another thing just before I move on if you're looking at this fabric thinking and it lovely those of you in the UK look at this right it's a table runner just bought it at Wilco's it was only a fiver and the brilliant thing is is oh I, I was thinking oh isn't it good i could use that side that they've made all metallic or the other side it's two different bits so the length of a normal runner which is really long because it's for a proper full-size dining table you get all of that and all of that so how many covers is that that i get plus also using it in bits and bobs so that is a fantastic buy at the moment because they're in for christmas and also you see this stuff this comes on a roll this is four quid a roll also in wilco's and um you can get silver or gold i've got both at the moment they're free for the price of two they're four quid each but yeah they're free for two so i've got two gold and one silver and it can go over fabrics you can bunch it up and make bows there's just so many things you can do with that so i just thought i'd just share the share the joy really because things like that are handy to know aren't they so yeah if you're in the uk i dare say you've got a wilkinson's near you and yeah they're a really good buy in my opinion you know I, I don't know you might be able to get fabrics a lot cheaper than that where you live but i haven't been able to find anything like this at a reasonable price for a long time so yeah just thought it was a good little buy right so i'm going to stick this on i'm not worried about the jagged edges or anything like that because they're going to be covered so i'll just get some glue down i won't go too mad because i don't want it coming through so really thin little layer and so yeah that's the long and short of it the one thing i'm worried about but it's not one thing <laughs> i'm worried about loads of things i want to go and i've got to go you know but um yeah when she rang me first thing this morning i was having panic attack within about five minutes of coming off the phone because just i'm not very good with change um as you some of you know i do suffer with terrible anxiety and um yeah it's just oh, just the unknown and it like i don't know where i'll be going what what it'll be like anything like that so that's a worry and then also 
I'll be moving from a four bed to a three because now I've only got two boys at home so I'll lose my craft room but hopefully there'll be a separate dining room or a shed or something that I can convert but if not I'll have to try and sort of split my bedroom or something to house all my equipment and my desks and that where um so that I can craft comfortably so I don't want to be doing going back like I used to like back in the day I just used to craft at my kitchen table which back in the day before I had a YouTube channel and everything was fine you know but over the years as I've gathered more and more stuff and that especially when my youngest moved out because then I had this room so it sort of exploded just after she moved out and then um, after, after that and I started my YouTube channel you know like I've got my camera set up above where I work and that and so yeah there's all of that that I'm not going to talk about because it it's <sighs> I'm starting to have uh, another panic attack <laughs> oh god right oh sorry about that I just had to take a couple of deep breaths I'm fine don't worry about me okay I'm totally totally fine so yeah that's all I'll say about it is yeah that it's sort of we're 98% sure that it will be going ahead in the next few weeks so I suppose as soon as they can find a place suitable for us really which I don't know how often they come up or anything like that I ain't moved for what 12 years something like that I moved in here so yeah it's um it's just one of them things but it'll be lovely because then I can go back to normal and my girls can be here my grandkids can be here and for me that's the most important things in life really so are my kids and my grandkids and being able to have family time and lovely time you know so yeah it, it'll be good there's nothing to worry about so I'm just got looking in here because I wanted a bit of pink there um, because I was going to go up here with this but just to tie in the pink actually I could do it with just a bit of ribbon rather than cutting that sorry silk um, yep yeah, that'd be fine I'll do that so yeah this um, video I weren't going to film myself doing another one of these but my friend Tracy <laughs> mentioned it so here, I, here it is Tracy for you love but um yeah and it's just easy and it that I can sort of I've done these so many times that I haven't got to think too much which at the moment is probably a blessing and so yeah um I'll probably, like, obviously I don't know when this is all going to be happening, but I've got to be prepared, you know, because I know with council properties, it, um, it's not, um, like, as easy as, like, years ago, um, when I first, um, when the kids was little, before my youngest was born, and we moved out. Um, from our flat that we'd been in with three kids and we bought an house and um, we knew we was buying that so for weeks and weeks and weeks I had time to pack and it was all like stress free because there was loads of time even though I did have the kids and that but um, yeah it was I knew where I was and then years ago like 12 years ago when I moved into this house I um 
I was already prepared because because it was me that was looking. For, I was looking for a move. It wasn't something that was just sort of thrown upon me, sort of thing. Whereas in this situation, that is what it will be like. So I um, yeah, it's it's a bit different. Sorry, I just keep playing about with little bits and pieces because I'm not sure of what I want. Where I do like that, so delicate. I do love that. Oh, and I've done that. I wanted to do something underneath. I'm going to peel these two up because I just want to cover the rough edges, and then I thought they'll be covered at the top by those sorry i'm not properly thinking so i'll just grab the um ribbon that i want for that i didn't i forgot i even had this this beautiful rose gold will just goes with that fabulous so i don't have to go all the way to the top But I'm not going to stick it down yet because I want the bit going across there. But yeah, that's what I'm going to have. Um, I've cut off long enough. Lovely rose gold, this is. I really. Yeah. I forgot I had it. So that is gorgeous. Um, right. So I've got to decide. I might want that again going across this bit. I kind of like how that looks with the cream on top of the pink. So, yeah, I might do that again. And I think at the bottom, I'll have this one. And then I won't bring in that bright, bright gold. I'm going to have a bit of this because it's just a bit more subtle joining that seam there and I may even have a bit of this covering this pink just to give it that bling I know I'm doing shabby but just um <laughs> I can't stop myself from having the bit of bling that I love so I've just cut another piece of this pink let's grab this so I don't be wasting loads of bits uh, right and so yeah i need to do that bit first don't i so that i don't let's get a nice straight edge i'll do that bit next oh hang on oh what is she doing the woman sorry it's so disjointed and crazy today what a silly woman right yeah, I know I've got bling there and there, but I'll just see one way, like that way, or that way. Actually, I think I'm going to leave that out for now, because, yeah, it's nice to have a bit of contrast instead of it all being blingy. There'll be another pocket that I can use that on in this journal I dare say but yeah I might even do another one of these for um, a different signature in the same journal you know so there's loads of options but yeah I do like that right that's our pink we're having across there. And, yeah, so, I, um, what I was saying about the moving, where it's sort of something totally new to me, I don't know how long this could take, if it does go ahead, but we're, from the way the lady spoke this morning, it sounds like it's a, quite a sure thing. But, yeah that's why i don't know how often i'm gonna be 
filming and that because um as you know when you're crafting the filming ain't the long bit it's the editing and all of that and so yeah I don't know how much time I'll have for that seeing as I've got to pack up a whole house with not just me and the boys stuff I've got stuff that belongs to the girls I've got stuff that um, belongs to the grandchildren I've got just a bloody oh sorry for the bloody I've got this room which is pretty much full to the ceiling with like the shelving and whatnot even there and everything um yeah there's a lot a lot a lot <laughs> that we'll need sorting out and um yeah it's um the thought of it's a bit overwhelming but that like what's got to be done's got to be done isn't it so right i was just pulling this a bit because i had a tiny little bit poking out at the sides which i don't want and yeah you're not going to see it so i thought i'd give that a trim and then that can sit there nicely so yeah so i do hope all my lovely subscribers, all you guys will just bear with me over the next couple of weeks. Um, normal service will be resumed as soon as possible. But I have got to devote quite a lot of time to packing and whatnot. Which, um, yeah, I don't want to talk about anymore because... Um, I'll give myself another panic attack. So yeah, that that's the that's the story. Anyway, so that being said, I'm really loving how this journal is coming along. I cannot thank my wonderful friend Denise enough for uh, trusting me with this gorgeous kit and like and giving me the opportunity of being on her design team and just supplying me with such an inspirational kit as this i really am loving it i um i found it um a very similar experience when i used amy's dioro kit in that design team and i made the aurelia um aurelia journal that is now in its home with my friend Kathleen and um, yeah I found that so inspirational that I just didn't want to stop you know like I really oh, I just loved it and yeah but, um, I'm getting them same vibes working with this it really is a pleasure and um, yeah just I've got loads of little bits and bobs that I've already sort of done all in my box like I keep when I'm working on a um, on a project I try and keep it all together like either in a box or a folder and um, yeah there's way too much to be in a folder so it's all in a box at the minute but um, yeah it's going really well I'm really enjoying it and yeah just feeling so inspired it's gorgeous I love it so yeah thank you Denise because yeah I haven't done a shabby journal for ages and I am really really enjoying it to the max so right hang on I've got this gorgeous old um, vintage doily from from my friend Denise, bless her heart. And I think I'm going to have that there. I might even put a little bit of this underneath. Just like cutting a rough circle. Yeah, I think that I might like that. Right. It hasn't got to be neat and everything. Just cut a rough zigzaggy circle. Which that's going to be an egg shape. Because I went too far that way. 
Um, let's see now. Well, it's a bit nearer to a circle than it was a minute ago, but it's more like a square. <laughs> um, although I do want it seen underneath, so let's just try and take off the square edges that I managed to get. How do you manage to do that when you try and make a circle? I'm all over the place and I like that's better. So like that and I can have it a bit hanging off. And like that. Yeah, like that. So you're just seeing a little bit of that bling underneath instead of covering the whole lot. Right, so I'll just get that glued down. And then just getting some glue around the edge of this really old vintage doily. It's so beautiful, it really is. Getting that down like that. Oh, it's lovely. And then what I thought was I want to look at the middle. Now I've got these little flowers, I don't know if to stick one of those, or this big one. I think I might go with one of the big ones, but what I'll do is I'll leave it till the end because I'll probably want to drench that in glue and then maybe either clamp it so it really firmly adheres to that overnight because remember this is going to be a pocket so it is going to move but um yeah i think i'll have it like that i do like that yeah i do because yeah i think that's too little it's like a pimple on an elephant isn't it let's have that yep that's the plan that's what we're going to go with but we'll come back to that um because we're doing that at the end so let's get rid of that um i think i kind of like that up there these are just little bits i bought like a yard or whatever of it quite a while ago and it's not vintage it was just um plain white and a coffee diadem so sorry about that that was my phone yeah coffee dyed them when i got them and yeah they're just um i just think they're a cute little bit to have like that so that's that now will i want a little no i don't want to overdo it um right i need to work on my flap that is going to be here like that oh i do like that that's pretty right so as you can see it's cut to size i'm just going to fray the sides a little bit not a lot that's plenty oh and i don't want to fray the top because i want a nice crisp a nice crisp triangle like that so let's mm. right that's it sort of get a bit of glue in here and then oops i just wanted those frayed bits not hanging out the top of the triangle um and then yeah that's how that's gonna look um now sometimes I slip a bit of cardboard in between and sometimes I don't but it does give just a little bit of extra support so it don't have to be anything special 
Вот. Lots of white scissors. Um, just in there, I can take a bit off. Oh no, that's round about right. Oh, that needs to be a little bit smaller. And yeah, I'm just going to pop that in there. And then I'm just going to glue it down. Just a little bit on either side. And that will be fine. And then it's going to sit like that. So that that's the position of it. Right, now what I want is I'm going to put... I could just leave it like that if I wanted. But I like there to be some kind of little dangle or another. So, look, can you just see a little bit? I've got a bit of glue showing through there. Now, there's a fix to that, and it's just handy that I thought I wanted to do it anyway. Once I've got it on, I wanted to have some of this. And just little bits positioned. So, it's a good job I did, because... That bit of glue there is shown through a little bit. I don't know how well you can see it. In different light, it don't show. And then it shows up massive in another light. Right, so we'll just come back to that. I need to have a look for charms. Right, so I've just grabbed out for here a couple of this little pearl with some gold. Um, little, just little what do you call it, it's on bead caps and that and I've also got this lovely goldy colour um, ball ball so I'm just going to punch an hole and I'm not sticking this on yet in case I mess up the old punching um, business and then in that case I'd want to um, start again but only on this top bit. Whereas if I stick it on and then I mess it up, I don't want to have to go back to the beginning and all of that. Because, no. No, no, no. Not today, love. <laughs> Definitely not today, love. I remember, do you remember back in the day? I wonder if anyone else there had this. Um, the electric company, NTL. When they first started out, we used to call them Not Today Love, because the initial was <laughs> NTL, because that was the thing. I was just really bad um, to get hold of, to fix any repairs and stuff like that. Yeah, and it seems that most council properties did have NTL at that time. Well, they did when I still lived in London. That was when it was. And so, yeah, we used to call them Not Today Love. <laughs> And it's funny the things that just pop into your head when you say something. But yeah, we used to think we was highly funny. <laughs> right, what am I doing? I want to stick this on now because I didn't mess up making the hole. Ta da! <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. So. Yeah, if anyone, I'm getting the favour. Yeah, I forgot to mention this earlier. Um, if anyone's in any Facebook groups that I'm in, right, or that I might be in, I don't know, you wouldn't, might not know that I'm in them, right, if they have a random acts of kindness list, can you have a look and check if I'm on it? Because if I am, I've got to remove myself. Um, because, yeah, after um, my move date, I won't, um, my address won't be on any public, um, forum at all, like any platform where it can be found. I will have a PO box, because obviously I still want to, um, buy things, sell, sell things, um, yeah, be an active member on, on Facebook um, on my design teams and that um, so yes I I will not be withdrawing from public 
the weld of junk journaling and everything but I can't have my address on anything just in case I go to all this trouble moving and I don't think he would do this because he's thick but if he did have the bright idea of thinking oh I'll find her on social media um yeah my girls ain't on social media um my boys use it but rarely you know and they would never put anything of what they're doing where they are that kind of thing they're not that kind of bothered by it all um for doing all of that but um yeah obviously i'm on social media now because of all of this and you guys and that and yeah i'm not um i'm not going to stop buying things off of etsy sellers and um, things like that you know or doing anything that i love um but yeah I will have to change my address to a P.O. box, which is a little pain, but, yeah, it's one of them things, isn't it? It's nothing, um, it's no drama. Right, now, I really like how they look, them little ball balls, and I really like how this is coming out. Right, stop it. It's, <laughs> them bits are annoying, they're, where they're fraying. Right, but they'll stop all that because they'll have a bit more glue on in a sec. Once I just get a couple of bits trimmed off. And, yeah, obviously not everybody has got this exact stuff. But when you're doing this kind of thing, if you've got anything like sequins or like... Um, lace trims or whatever ever you you have got it is handy when you've done something like this and you can see a bit of glue through just embellish more <laughs> just get the embellishments out and go wild until you've covered it <laughs> i first used this stuff um just as decoration completely and only decor but it has got that forgiving element that yeah i can hide anywhere where there is a bit of glue poking through so i don't want one as big on the other side well not as big a with that bit so I'm going with this on the other side and just trim around the netting and yeah I like I love doing these because again it's one of them things that looks a lot more easy oh look what I've just done as, just as I'm saying it looks a lot more easy I cut that bit off and I wanted, I don't, I don't like using a loop that's cut, if you know what I mean. I, I want my loops to be intact. So, <laughs> I sound like such a lunatic sometimes. But yes, I want my loops intact. So, let's be more careful when we're saying about how easy these things are. Because clearly... They're too complicated for me. <laughs> but, yeah. It, um, I just... I don't want the fluffy bit either. Right, so we can lose this one. Because on the other side, we just have a little bit less. And I'm just going to play around with them a minute to see whether I want that there which I think I do, and that there, like that. I kind of like that more. Right. So, that is how we're going to have them. And so, yeah, if I am on anything, a list that you spot, do me a favour and let me know, please. And um, if you could grant me the other favour of bearing with me, 
while I take time out to pack um, and to move and whatnot. Because even though we haven't been given the golden ticket, so to speak, that it's a definite, I am going to have to start packing straight away, like now they've told me today, because of just of the sheer amount of stuff. Because if they find us somewhere really quickly, I'm just going to be in such a panic mode. And, um, yeah... I'm a panicker at the best of times, so, like, with things that matter. Normally, with things that don't, I'm not, you know, like, I'll laugh all day long at myself, at messing things up and that, I don't panic about that kind of thing, but, yeah, um, I will panic if they ring me and tell me that I've got to move within a week or something, <sighs> so, I need to start packing straight away, so, that's what I'm going to do in a minute, but oh, I really like it in this style. I know I normally do them all like um, bright and um, clashing colours and everything. Um, I couldn't resist a bit of bling though, could I? Even though it is shabby chic, I, um, I'm going to get some glue on that and that will be how it finally looks. I may even put another bit, oh, hang on, let's see, no, I'll, I was just holding up to the pink lace that I've got and it's not deep enough to come out the bottom there, but, um, oh, oh sorry, <laughs> I was looking around, I was craning behind me to see if I could see anything on the other wall with my trims, but I couldn't, so, I'll leave it as it is. I'm really pleased with how that turned out. Tracy, I hope you watched and that you'll know now that it's a lot easier than you thought it was. And so, yeah, everybody, you've got a pocket in there and pocket in there and that. Um, oh, that's what I was going to do. I'm going to loosen some of this just so that I've just made a little envelope and just stuck some coffee dyed paper onto a bit of book page and I thought something like that could just tuck in there as well and then the ball balls there will hold the top in and look I've just tucked it in that bit of trim there so yeah it's just another little idea normally I'll have a tassel or something coming down which again would keep that in place but, um, yeah, I don't think this one needs it. I really like how it looks with the ball balls. So, thank you very much. I love you all lots. Please bear with me while I'm not about so much. I will return back to doing, like, a few videos a week as soon as I possibly can. And, yeah, you'll probably see me tomorrow again or something because I'll end up, um, yeah, just wanting to do this and not do anything else. <laughs> So thank you all very much. I love you lots. Bye for now. Bye. Love yous. Bye.